What's going on everybody? My name's Indeficient. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to build the tree farm you see behind me. Good for spruce, jungle, birch, and oak wood. Let's get right into it. Okay, let's start off by looking at the rates for the farm. A run test here um, for about, uh, what's my total? About two and a half hours. Um, so I've, I've done extensive testing here to try and get some accurate numbers here for what we can expect. Um, roughly what they're using is uh, 3,405 bone meal per hour. You're getting an average of about 1,400 logs per hour uh, using about two and a half bone meal per log. So it's pretty efficient, all things considered. Um, now for the oak side of things, I'm, I'm excited that it even works for oak in the first place. I'm, as far as I know, I'm the first person to figure out how to make this design or this, this concept here work for, uh, for oak. So uh, the oak is a little inefficient. Um, I, I haven't really found a way around that. I've, as you can see here on screen, I've, I've done some varying tests at different levels of bone meal. Um, you, you can get more logs if you give it more bone meal, um, but you, your efficiency rates just kind of tank uh, after you go above seven. So I recommend leaving it at seven just for, for efficiency sake, but that's of course up to you. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the mechanics for the farm now. Uh, to start off, the height of the dirt is uh, dependent sort of on the tree here, so depending what you want to grow. Uh, jungle is going to be 8 tall. For spruce, it can be 7 tall. And then for birch and for oak, it can be 5 tall. Um, otherwise, the redstone is going to be absolutely identical. Uh, you can just follow the tutorial for any of the three that you want to build uh, or that you want to farm. The only difference is going to be that on the oak side of things, you're going to need to put the sapling on top of rooted dirt. So it does need to be rooted dirt. Uh, I'm not quite sure why, but that's the way it works. So make sure uh, if you're going to do oak, you got it on rooted dirt and that you got the um, slab. <laughs> you got the slab on top to make sure you're not growing the, uh, the large trees. Okay. Otherwise, it's going to be the exact same. So the, the mechanics are very simple. Um, the tree grows inside of there. Uh, we need to harvest the logs out of it. So we're we're basically just pushing uh, some, some dirt around and a little piston feed tape here in order to pull the logs out. Uh, and then this final piston just pulls the logs out regardless of whether or not you get a growth every single time uh, because you get varying, uh, varying numbers as you saw. Uh, otherwise, the mechanics are, or sorry, the redstone is, is just reliant on two things, just uh, hopper clocks to, to run the, the pistons and, and the cycling, and then this little circuit down here from Eggfur, and this just runs how much bone meal you're getting. So you can customize how much bone meal by adjusting the number of items in this hopper. Uh, at the moment, I've got this set to a power level of nine, so this will basically stop a signal from going through here when this is less than nine. So whenever this gets to eight, it will stop the circuit. That gives us seven pulses with the way we've got it set up. Okay. Um, for oak, you might want to go more than that, depending, you, see, uh, you saw on the, the screen there earlier. Uh, if you go more with oak, you'll get more logs, but you'll, you'll kind of spend more bone meal per log. So if you want to customize that, come on in here and adjust. Okay, for the materials for the farm, I've got everything you're going to need in the chest here, and I'll put a list in the description down below as well. Um, all of your items you're going to need are here. I have not included any of the, the blocks for the floor, basically just everything that's, that's above the floor. Um, so even the redstone that's running on the floor blocks, I didn't, I didn't count those. Uh, but otherwise, it should be accurate. Uh, the reason I've got nine and two down here is for the number of items we're going to put inside of our hopper clocks. So these are just, they can be any item, but just to show you, you're going to need 11 total items for your hopper clocks. Uh, and then the various amounts of dirt, depending on what you want to build. Remembering you need to the dirt for the oak sapling. Um, if you're going to build a cuber along with this, I've put together another little box over here. So down at the bottom, this is what you're going to need for the block conveyor that's going to lay the blocks down. And then that'll all get pushed into uh, a cuber. Everything up here is what you're going to need for that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is mark out a chunk. Uh, to do that, there's a lot of different ways. I use Foxy No Tails Markers Pack. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to that. And let's build over here in this chunk. 
Okay, so now that you've picked out your chunk and you've got it all marked out, we're going to want to mark out, or, or dig out, I guess I should say, um, the area in which we're going to run the redstone to turn off the farm uh, when we run out of bone meal. So this is going to be starting at the back corner. So if we can look at the farm here, our logs are coming out on this side. On the back side is where our power switch is going to go. So that's going to be the starting point for the farm here, right here. This is going to turn the farm main power. So from this point, we're going to want to come in one, two, and on the third block, dig down. As you can see here, one, two, three. Uh, on the fourth line down there, I've just run some some black concrete, not necessary, but just to show you where the redstone's going to run. Um, this is going to feed up into our first hopper clock right here, and we need to power this guy to turn it off uh, whenever the farm runs out of bone meal. So we're going to put in a block right below, or with a one block gap below, put a torch here, one more block down here, and Oh, we should have done it the other way around. Just dig down here quick. Torch underneath. And that'll turn this torch off. From that point, we're going to run some redstone from the end here. Not up, just from down here. And we're going to run that across and all the way to the end. Uh, I believe we're going to leave this last one for where the piston extends, pushing the redstone block down. For now, though, uh, we're going to cover this part up. So again, it's in by three, or on the third, we go down by three, and then it's seven, and seven. We're going to just fill this in so we're not constantly falling through it here as we continue. We'll leave that block open. So first up, we're going to do our first hopper clock. Uh, I'm not going to walk you through, guys, how to how to make a hopper clock. You can, you can follow me here. Um, pistons are, or sorry, hoppers facing into each other. Block over here. Comparator. Dust on top. Oops, sorry. Dust on top. Uh, another piston. Block. Okay. From here, we're going to come out with a three block cap. And on the fourth block is where our second hopper clock is going to start. So put that in here now. Let's the ends. And then we're going to connect these two together using this right here. So come out by two over by three, and connect that up. And we'll just run red stone dust right across. Okay. From here, we're going to run one block up from the middle. Dust, and dust coming down. Heater off of that. Do a block. Another block beside it. Dispenser here. We're going to put our powdered snow inside this dispenser. And then we're going to put observer watching the powdered snow. Next up, we've got our redstone comparators. So one facing into the block that is being powered by the observer. Next to it, going towards the side of the hopper clocks, we have the one facing out. Dust beside. Dust, dust, and repeater here. Lock on the end of that repeater, and then a dispenser. And our dirt where our sapling is going to be placed. So at this point, what we've built is our circuit to run the farm. So the main clock that's going to bone meal the farm as well as power all the pistons. It's really just as simple as this. Everything else is just timing and some running some redstone around to the various pistons. For this circuit here, we can leave it as it is if we want to get uh, the most amount of logs out of our oak farm. Uh, but for everything else, including oak, if we want to be the most efficient, we'll go ahead and put our comparator here. Uh, then we're going to build a, a little circuit here by egg fur. So we're going to put in a hopper. Using a hopper here, you can use whatever you like. 
but a hopper with three non-stackable items. That's effectively power level three, six, nine. And by sending a power level of nine into the side of the comparator here, it effectively stops the circuit whenever it gets below power level nine. So that allows it to go around seven times in this case. Cap that off with some glass on top just to make sure nothing else falls in. Next up, we're going to read how much uh, bone meal we have left in our, our main dispenser here. So we're going to come out from there. It can be any block. I'm just going to use glass. And then we're going to run that into a solid block. Torch on the end of it. And we're going to pop back down here. Piston. Push this down. And put our redstone block here. So as you can see, that's now powered this line, which I probably should have thought ahead a little bit. And that is going to keep this guy powered, even if we turn this one off. Whenever we have bone meal in there, that will turn off and the farm will be allowed to run. Uh, next up, we'll put two hoppers coming out of there. I'm just going to put it on. Actually, no, let's do it. Yeah. Next up, let's put the dirt that is going to be um, stopping the tree from growing any leaves. So this will be our, our sapling. One, two, three logs that we're going to harvest. And then dirt's going to go up there and start at this layer here. So what we'll do is we'll come out by two from each side here. Fill that in. For this one, we need to sort of choose a sapling. Uh, I'm going to build it all the way to the max height, uh, which is going to be eight tall. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we you're done, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. So what we're going to do now is just pop in here, break the glass, or temporary blocks, whatever you used. And then we're going to hop up into the farm, going to look towards our hopper clocks. And we're just going to break out these six blocks temporarily. Pistons are going to go in here. One, two, three sticky pistons. And then the dirt can go back on top of those we get out of here okay so that's our first set of pistons in next up we'll come around to this side and we'll put in one two three one two three dirt come around to the next side one two three one two three just to back up a little bit this is what it should look like Next up, we'll put in the rest of our pistons. Start here, two, three. When the dirt gets pushed over here, this will push it around this way. This one will push it into the middle. And then this guy over here, push them along. Next up, we'll put some observers watching these ones. So just to look, I'm on the opposite side of the power. One, two, three. Put in three more pistons. One, two, three. Grab our sticky pistons again here. Something for a temporary block. And we'll go one, two, three. Okay. So what that's going to do is when there's a log here, the sticky piston is going to pull it back and these guys are going to push it along. And that's going to allow us to harvest it. Okay, so at each of the sets of pistons now, we'll just go around and put some of the blocks in place to, uh, to power them. So we're going to do a solid block along the bottom. And then we're going to do dust. 
Okay, so this one to the side. Dust, dust, dust. And we'll do the same thing basically to everything. Uh, so put some dust there. This one again over to the side. This is the sticky piston here. So we're bringing that to the side. Just like that, that should be powering for all of the sets of pistons. So if we come around to the back now, or yes, the front, depending which way you're looking at it, from either the, <laughs> the side that the power's on or the side that you're sending the logs out, um, I guess supposedly you could just put your switch over there and run, run some redstone dust down. Um, but we'll put a block here and a block there, solid on each, dust, dust. And then we shall connect these up with... Set up like this. Okay. That's going to do it for the redstone for our pistons. Uh, the last step now is just going to be to connect the redstone from our hopper clocks uh, to our pistons. Before we get into that, let's cover everything we don't need here with glass. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some glass. I'm going to put it one, two, three, four to start. Uh, you want to be able to get in here to change your sapling, so this will be the location where you do that. Uh, another thing I forgot to add to the materials list is four buttons. So we'll just put in our four buttons, one, two, three, four. That'll stop any leaves from growing down here, because uh, it is possible that, that happens. And it'll allow you to still get in and, and change the sapling out. Uh, we're going to have redstone dust run along here, so we'll just ignore that spot for now. We're just going to do right around the edges here. Like so. Okay. Next up, we're going to take a redstone signal from this block here. Uh, a couple ways we could do that. We could take some obsidian and uh, um, a piston here. And we could put it on top and take a, a redstone signal out the top. Or we can just, you know, it's a little bit cheaper here to, to run some glass. We'll just run it up and around. We do not want to interfere with this side, obviously, so we can't take them out the the, the same side. But that's fine. So we're going to run this up and around and over to here. Okay. So this line of redstone is going to now feed down. And this could be any block. Um, of course, this one here and this one here have to be glass. The same as the one above the piston here. Um, so I recommend just, just using glass for, for most of these. Um, and then when you get down here, you can just pop it down onto the floor. Um, next up, we want to take a signal from here. And we're going to come out by three, I believe. Two repeaters. We're going to run our dust up from here. Uh... I did it. Yeah, that's how I did it. One, two, three, four. Actually, don't even need that one. There you go. One, two, three, out. Glass above the uh, repeater here, and then that'll connect all these up. Each of these repeaters, we're going to put on four ticks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, Four ticks for this one, three ticks for this one. It can be a little bit faster. Dust, dust, sticky piston here, and a full block. Okay. Put in uh, another repeater here on one tick, very important. And we're going to put in a block at this level, and then dust. All right. Oh, excuse me. Um, okay, so next we're going to bring this signal down. Come out this way. And down. Yeah. 
Turn that redstone up. And that connects it all. So fill in the blanks here or fill in the spaces with glass all along here. And a quick test to make sure that we've not run that incorrectly here is just to put power level 15 on the side. And we should see that all three pistons are extended. This is only power level one. So if you run the dust incorrectly, uh, even one too long, uh, that won't extend. So if you want to just check that after you install that first bit. Okay. Okay, so now that we've got our glass in, we'll put in our repeaters that are going to power uh, these two over here. So we'll start with this side. Uh, we're going to come straight off of this line um, right under here. One, two. First one here is going to be on three ticks. The second one is going to be on one tick. Put that into a block. And then we'll just build up one and dust, dust, dust. Uh, apparently I accidentally broke that. Put that back in place as well. <laughs> That's our first one connected. Or I guess our second one connected. Uh, next, we'll bring our dust around, and we want to come out here until our dust is underneath the bottom block. And then we're going to do one, two. Uh, oh, sorry, one too far. Come out to uh, underneath the piston. <laughs> and then we're going to do one, two. Both of these are going to be on one tick. And then we're going to build our, our blocks up in the same way. So dust and dust. Okay. So now when we've power these it's going to power that one first and this one and then this one uh, and that's going to cycle around our dirt okay uh, the reason this this pulls back by the way is that when you're pulling the logs out of here uh, you need to pulse uh, these guys twice and then this one three times so in order to achieve that the easiest way i found was just to use two hopper clocks uh, this one controls how long it bone meals for and at the same time also pulls this block back just at the right time to stop the uh, the third pulse from getting through okay now that we've got to that part we're basically done with the redstone for the farm next step we're going to put in a little bit more glass so we're going to come around um and we're just going to fill in glass everywhere underneath the initial 5x5. Five five. So everywhere underneath the 5x5 five five of dirt, we want to make sure we have glass. We want to make sure we have a floor block, including these blocks here. So make sure you have a floor underneath your dirt block. Otherwise, you will get leaves growing down there. Uh, so I'm going to go through everything underneath, uh, like here. That's got to be covered up. And here. Okay. Now that that's all done... We're going to take care of powering this circuit here. Uh, we're going to do it in basically the same way. So we'll just run a line of redstone going up here. And this one is just connecting us all the way along to here. Oh, sorry. Not to here. <laughs> That's not embarrassing. Uh, over to here. And we'll just confirm that's powering all three. The reason these are needed is if you get a a growth here, uh, if you get a growth every time, you technically don't need these pistons. If it was a guaranteed growth every single time, you would not need these. The The next tree would push out the, the one before that. Uh, however, you're not guaranteed. So you can get a tree that pushes itself out to here and then miss out on a growth the next time around. And if you didn't have this one to pull it out, these guys would end up just cycling the tree back around. Uh, and breaking the farm, and also pulling the dirt out. Okay. So we've got our powdered snow in place. We've got our circuit in place to, to bone meal. We've got all of our pistons hooked up and confirmed that they're working. Now we need to put some items into our hoppers. So for the first one here, we're going to put in nine items. And for the next one, we're going to put in two. Okay. So nine and two. And then just to turn it on real quick to show you how the farm works, we're going to have to pop this guy off for a sec. Running its bone meal cycle. Uh, what did I forget? Oh, I forgot dust here. Silly mistake. Okay, so 
Now we can confirm the pistons are all firing at the right time. So you should see it one here, there, and then there. Perfect. That's basically it. At this point, all of the logs will just come straight out here and they'll just feed right off into the distance here. And that's basically all you need to do. You're you're completely done. We'll grab, let's say, a birch sapling and a little bit of bone meal here. Proof of concept. Pop first through here. Put the sapling in. Uh, we'll put our birch back on. Put in some bone meal. Farm on. <laughs> Drink. So bone meals creates a tree. Pulls that tree out, cycling the dirt around. On the next round, it will pull the log out here first, which then gets pushed along. There you go. So from here, you can just stand underneath it, mine, put a, a dispenser over here with some, um, some bottles of enchanting, and that's really all you need to do to run this early game. Uh, in a future episode, I'll take a look at a couple of different other options, um, like feeding this into a wither cage or feeding this into a gas blaster, for instance. Okay, let's look at doing a cube maker now, because I think that might be the most common desire, uh, seeing it's a fully AFK tree farm you can just send it off into a cuber go afk and come back and, and mine it all later um as opposed to just mining it like i mentioned earlier so let's look at how we're going to get this three tall um sort of situation here into a nice 12 by 12 by 12 cube um first thing's gonna be to lay it down otherwise we're gonna have to use flying machines triple piston extenders all, all that craziness we don't want that so we're just gonna watch it here and we're gonna build a little bit of a, a block elevator um, so this was going to be what triggers the, the block elevator here, and then that's just going to push these logs down. Uh, so let's see how we're going to actually do that here. So if we put just a block up here and some redstone dust on top of that, or other way around, doesn't really matter. Um, and then we're going to take some more pistons, and on the side where we only have three, we want to have pistons like so. And on the other side, where we have a little bit more space in the chunk, we're going to send three pistons down here. So just get rid of our temporary ones here. And that's going to be the start of it, followed by one, two, and three. So that's going to be the piston layout. Next up, we're going to put a temporary block there just to build out two, three blocks like so. And then we are going to get our fence gates out. One, two, three. Observers watching those. One, two, three. Into blocks. Into fence gates. Observers watching these. So there we go. We've got our, our one half of it all done. On the other side here, what we're going to do is have uh, observers watching these. One, two, and three. Observers facing in here. One, two, and three. You can see where the arrows are. We've got an observer watching the piston and an observer watching the observer. Next up, we're going to have uh, an observer watching the main piston. So what's triggering the, the very first um, part to go over. Um, and then I think what we'll do next is get in some blocks here. So we're going to need a block down here and a block above. Three tick repeater on this one. We're going to have a line of observers sending power into these three blocks. Like so. Oh, sorry, not, not into all three, just into uh, the top two. Uh, so 
can get rid of that bottom one, not the top one, sorry. Uh, the top one's going to get taken care of by this observer here, right? Next up, we're going to take two observers out of here, one and two. We're going to put in... Um, Great block, throw. Doesn't have to be a sticky piston. Re regular piston would work too. Also didn't mean to break that. Back. Okay. Uh, we're going to put some dust on top of here. We're going to put the torch here. And then we're going to put an observer here. Just as one more quick walk around, we've got our piston powering this top one here. This guy sees it, sends the signal down, which loops it down and around to the bottom two pistons. And then whenever those fire, they also trigger these ones as well. All right, quick, uh, quick correction here. Uh, I don't know why I decided to put a piston in there. Uh, <laughs> literally any block would have worked just, just fine. I think the reason I did is because... Uh, the other way around, there's a, a, a block on top too, but no need. So just put your um, dust in like that. There you go. You'll get the same effect. So just uh, show that working again. There you go. Next up, we're going to want to take that out. So let's get an observer sitting here. Block behind it. Uh, or actually, you know what, let's do block under it and then a block above the dust here so that these two don't canoodle. We'll put a, a dust here and then we'll put in our piston. So just like that, if I throw some logs into the system and trigger it from the top here, we now get our logs laid down. So next, I think we'll do one more little turn on this. And the reason I'm doing one more turn here, as opposed to just sending this into the cuber, is just so that we can kind of get this aligned as good as possible. Uh, bring it. You know, I don't think we want to go that way, though. We want to go this way. We can do right from here. Take another piston. Uh, just put some dust. Oops. Dust there. Perfect. Right, so now we're inside of a new queue, uh, a new chunk. Actually, you know what? As I say that, we're we're right on the chunk line. We want to have a piston, and we want to have redstone. So we want to bring that out further. Think ahead. <laughs> Think ahead. That's important. Right. So we're into a new chunk here now. That's going to be redstone line, and then we're going to have our uh, our line of pistons themselves, which may or may not interfere with that one so let's bring it out one more right so this is where we want our piston this is where we want our redstone uh meaning we're going to want to push this across here let's get our pistons and then a temporary block here dust right so now we have our system that will bring them out and bring them over. From here, we're gonna to wanna to put in our line of 12 that will bring it up. So let's go one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Just right to the edge of the chunk, perfect. Um, and that's gonna push our blocks up once we get to the end. Let's go trick here. All right, so when that gets over here, that'll send signal into that guy, which will power here. Just bring that on down. All right. As we get our logs come over, they can push up. So now we've got. Our next step here, let's get in our wall of pistons. Let's 
There we go. So now we've got our wall that is 12 pistons by 12 pistons. Okay, now onto the back part of it. We'll grab some glass and we'll grab some solid blocks as well as our dust and some repeaters. Um, we'll come to the top to start. Let dust. Dust. Oops. Nope. Uh, slight problem. We'll have to just throw a redstone block there instead. No problem. Dust across all of these. Take the in here. To get a little higher at least. Perfect. Um, now we'll just have one more sticking out on each side. Peter. And then just to put in a piston. Nah. We'll run some red stuff. Here's some stuff. Okay, so now we got our, our glass in. Uh, let's throw dust. Repeater, repeater, repeater. This one to account for the, the time it takes to get down there. We're going to have to put it on three ticks. Then we'll do dust, dust, dust here, block above. All right, so that should. Beautiful. One single pulse. All right. Uh, and that, I think, does it. That gives you your entire cube maker. You know what, uh, one final note here before we go. Um, let's talk a little bit about spawn proofing. Um, I do recommend not using full blocks here on the floor. Uh, use leaves or glass or something along those lines. Uh, or, you know, turn off enderman griefing. Unfortunately, one block getting removed from here will cause a leaf to grow there. And this this bottom one, uh, you can see I can, I can pick block and it always tells me it's a sapling. Even though it looks like a log, the game thinks it's a sapling. And it forever will. But if it can ever grow a leaf, that will stay a log and the farm will break. Okay? So we want to make sure that we're doing our best to, to prevent any Enderman griefing here. Uh, and that might mean building some sort of structure around this. Um, don't use glass for that. If you put glass walls around, they will just reach directly through the glass and they will pull the, the dirt out regardless. So either completely mob proof the area so that there's no chance you're going to have any endermen spawning in the area um, or do your best to, to cover this up so that you don't have any endermen griefing issues um, uh, if you have any questions obviously leave a, a comment below like subscribe all of that good stuff really appreciate it and yeah keep an eye out for some more tutorials in the near future that's going to do it for today guys i hope you enjoyed have a good one